In this video, we're going to look at blocks and connectors and how to create calculations and transformations with data in Analytics Canvas. We're going to start, we've got one block already on the canvas. This is an import from a Google Analytics query, just like the ones we made in the first two tutorials. You'll notice we've set the date to include all of 2010, so we've got about 16,000 rows. We're going to start by right-clicking on the block and connecting a new data block, a calculation block. I'm going to start with a bit of terminology. As you gathered, the square things are called blocks. On the blocks are round stubs, and we use connectors to connect blocks together between stubs. If we click on the connector, the data that's inside the stub that the input of the connector is on will show down below. If we click on the block itself, we see the configuration of the block. And this defines what data transforms are going to happen inside that block and how the data will change between the input and the output of that block. Because this is a calculation block, it lets us modify the columns, their names, order, and content. In this case, we'll rename one of the columns and then drag it up to change its order that it appears. You can see by default, all of the columns are passed through the calculation block. Then when you go in and edit, you can modify. Let's add a new calculated column. This will take us to the calculation editor. Analytics Canvas has a number of useful functions for data transformation, with many of them shared with Excel, making it easy for new users to start creating expressions right away. In the editor, double-clicking on columns or functions will set the text into the text box. In this case, we'll do a simple calculation dividing bounces by visits to give us our bounce rate. We'll take a look at a few other examples of functions. There are a number of date functions which are very useful if you want to look at the day of the week, day of the week, and the original date. Often the data coming from Google Analytics has a certain redundancy in it and you want to try to create categories. In this case, for example, in the source, very often there are a lot of domains with the word Google in them and uh, obviously these are all Google related. By using the contains function, you can get a true false that says whether or not the source contained the word Google. Finally, let's export all of this data into a text file. And so now we'll do this in a slightly different way. We'll go to the block library and drag and drop a text file export block onto the canvas. We just need to specify the file and then connect it up by clicking on the stub, dragging and releasing over the stub that we want to connect it to. Now in this case, to write to the outputs, we have to press the run all button. The outputs get written down and we've got a text file. This is just a very simple example of the kinds of things you can do within Analytics Canvas. Next up, we're going to take a look at the query library and how can we reuse and share Google Analytics query definitions. Try it with your own data by going to analyticscanvas.com.